We're here with the Managing Director at Green Home Systems, Robbie Bear. Robbie, how do the current gas prices affect the green energy solar business? If you would have asked me uh, a year ago what was going to happen with electric vehicles, EV cars, uh, and how quickly that would ramp up around the country, not just my opinion, but the consensus is three-ish years from now, 50% of all new cars being sold in America would be, are going to be EV cars. That was the conversation and the consensus, you know, three, four months ago. Now with the gas prices going up the way they're going up, it's going to 2x that timetable. So a year and a half to at most, two years from now, 50% of all new cars being sold are going to be EV cars, electric vehicle cars. As a result, people are going to be coming home at night, turning on their AC, their heater, all their TVs and whatever, and plugging in their car, except for half the country is going to be doing that. The infrastructure in this country is already a tremendous mess, especially with utility companies, as everybody saw in Texas, as everybody saw in Northern California with PG&E, uh, which is an investor-owned utility, and they have as deep of pockets as any utility company in America, and it doesn't matter. Their infrastructure is a mess. Now, they don't have the time or the money to get out of this problem because of the timetable being literally cut in half due to gas prices. They wouldn't have the time or the money even if this was going to take three years to happen. Also, just like any other you know, good corporation, this is kind of the American way, they're not going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. They're going to pass those costs on to the homeowners. So everybody's rates, utility rates, are going to go through the roof this year and next year. The average utility rate increase right now to date, we're not even done with Q1, nationally is 9% as of today. I think by the end of the year that number is going to climb to an average utility rate of increase of over 30%. Whereas typically in the past it had been like 4 to 6%. Uh, annually on a national level. The cost of coal is going up uh, tremendously. So all the supply issues and uh, the utility companies are going to pass all those costs on to everybody. And this is also going to create rolling blackouts, demand issues. The grids can't handle everybody getting home and plugging in EV cars and turning on all the lights. So here come all the rolling blackouts as well. So it's two prong. Utility rates going through the roof, demand issues, rolling blackouts. I mean, even the investor-owned utilities that have like okay infrastructure, they're not going to be immune from this. So this is the world we're living in now. What is Green Home Systems able to do to help homeowners protect themselves? We did, uh, you know, already um, uh, prognosticate the idea that eventually everybody was going to be moving to batteries and need storage and that these grids and the infrastructure would have problems someday. I didn't know it was going to happen this fast. Luckily, uh, we started selling battery ready systems years ago. Even if homeowners weren't prepared or couldn't afford to get a battery when they actually purchased a system from us and we did the uh, install, installed the array, we made sure that we installed their systems with about 95% of our systems um, with battery ready inverters. It's called the Energy Hub. It's a brand new, uh, came out in early 2020 and it comes with also a backup interface which is the smart control panel. Um, and what happens is if a homeowner in the future is going to add a battery, it's going to save them four grand because without the energy hub and the backup interface, the inverter that SolarEdge uses, which is great, it's a great inverter, it's called the HD Wave. And it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It takes the DC, which is the sun, direct current, and converts it to AC, which is what you then pump into the grid and what your whole home runs on, AC alternate current. So it does exactly what inverters do on solar arrays. But there's no backup, uh, uh, battery backup capability. So if a homeowner has a system with an HD wave and then a few years later they want to get a battery, well, they got to swap out the whole inverter system at a cost of about four grand. But if you had installed an H, uh, uh, energy hub right out of the gate instead of an HD wave, the added cost was only about $1,000, $1,200. It, right around there, 1000 to 1200 So we were already understanding that eventually people were going to be forced to 
get batteries, uh, you know, if at all possible. And so we were like, hey, you can pay an extra four grand later, or you can pay an extra 1,200,000 to 1,200 now and be prepared and have your system be battery ready. So now we've experienced an influx of homeowners who already had their systems installed. They're reaching out to us, they're, they're contacting us in uh, great numbers and just thanking us, thank you so much. Uh, I already have my HD Wave, I just need to now uh, add a battery. So this is how we've um, uh, contributed to, to uh, combating this problem. Also, uh, with the energy hub and the backup interface and then should a homeowner then add a battery, Solar Edge has also uh, come out with a line of EV chargers, which are amazing. And so what happens is when you connect your Solar Edge EV charger to your energy hub and your backup interface, when you come home at night and you're gonna charge your uh, electric car, you're not drawing kilowatt hours out of the grid or kilowatt hours that you would pumped up and saved into the grid with your solar system. You'll literally just be drawing power from your battery straight into your EV car, i.e. no demand on the grid and i.e. no cost. It's a it's beautiful how symbiotic the whole system is.